guys, how's it going? So, bit of context, um, I was considering buying this yo-yo, um, and then before I did, I contacted C3 and I said, hey, do you guys, like, would you guys be interested in a review? I'm really, really interested in your product and, um, I'd, I'd be super, super open to reviewing this thing. And to their great credit, they actually replied and sent me one. And this is the, the yo-yo that I was super interested in. The yo-yo was the Gamma Crash. Boom. Okay. So, um, I'm not really sure what this yo-yo plays like. I've got this idea in my head, but every time I think I know how a yo-yo will play, it plays differently to how I expect. But... This is the Gamma Crash. So, it feels like, whoops. It feels like it has a Delrin body, and I'm guessing these are stainless steel rims. So, honestly, honestly speaking, it almost looks like a half plastic, half metal drop near, in my opinion, okay? Um, and if you look at it like that, it, it sort of has a very kind of similar shape, but yeah, I was super curious about this because plastic yo-yos, plastic and metal yo-yos kind of died with yo-yo jam and every now and then there's something made, but they, you know, I've always got a soft spot for yo-yo jam. Anyone who's seen my collection video knows that I bought a lot of yo-yo jams back in the day, so yeah, let's try this thing out. And actually, just feeling this thing now, I thought that this thing would make it, you know, not that great for finger spins, but... I don't know, I think, I think it might have some hidden finger spin capabilities that I didn't really expect. So let me just get the string, let's try this thing out. So um, the last plastic yo-yo I tried from C3 was the Alpha Crash. And the Alpha Crash was a bit too heavy for my taste, um, and I really liked the Berserker, but whoa. Huh. Whoa! Okay. So, uh, going back to what I what I just said about, um, I kind of had an expectation of how this yo-yo would play, and it my expectation was about about the same. This thing plays good. <laughs> oh wow. So the best way I can describe this is literally <laughs> like get a drop near. Imagine how it would play with the Delrin plastic body. That's how this thing plays. Really, really good. Really, really good. Um It's got a weight that's not super light, not super heavy, but very, very stable. The shape is ideal for like this competition era at the moment. And it has a very fun vibe. So something that um, a lot of people critique C3 about is that all their yo-yos are just rehashes, they play the same, but this thing plays really, really fun. Wow. Okay. Now, let's see if I was right about the finger spin thing. Yeah, <laughs> I was. So, obviously, it's not designed to, like, finger spin for minutes and minutes like some of his other brand, um, some of his other kind of, um, throws. Like the finger spin or the move or anything like that. That being said, they didn't, they designed it so it would be pretty good for finger spins. Alright, so, like, if we're going back to the age where the Horizon was the winner and all these things, yeah, this thing would be pretty solid for finger spins. Let's do some horizontal. Whoa, boy. I'm not sure if you can see this, but. Ah. 
Oh, <laughs> two misses, whatever. Okay, this is a new trick actually. What you, comment below what you guys think of this if I can land it. All right. Very Christopher Chia. I don't know, it was inspired by Andrew Mader. I don't know. What do you guys think? Comment below. Back to the yo-yo though. This thing is really very, very, very impressive. Um, and it plays moderately smoothly, but it just plays good. Like, honestly, it's got that fun Delrin kind of vibe that you want to get from like, you know, a Delrin plastic yo-yo. Um, combined with that, it's got the stability, weight distribution, and nimble speed of like a Draupnir. And you know what? I'm kind of like, I'm calling it now, right? I think that there's going to be a C3 player or a player that wins a competition with this thing because this is good. I mean, the Alpha Crash was alright. Some of the other plastic areas were also kind of bordering on the okay side, but this thing is the first one that's like, wow. This thing would take down some metals. This thing would take down some bimetals, actually. It's just this really well-designed, well-put-together um, Delrin plastic yo-yo that plays exactly how you'd want something like it to play. Like, it's powerful, it's fun, and I'm probably going to be taking this around because it's just good. Okay. And I like the red color as well. I'm glad I didn't get like a white one or something. That would have been like really boring. So yeah, shout outs to the red kind of thing. Color. Um, awesome yo-yo. Really, really enjoyed it. And if I had purchased this, I would have been just as happy. It's great. Um, plays exactly how I expected it or wanted it to play. Just like a really fun vibe kind of... Um, Draw me. And I'm sorry to like keep drawing the comparison over to Yo Recreation, but if you guys want to like want an honest opinion on how it plays, it's how it plays. It plays like a plastic drop near. Um, that being said, you know, C3's got some really nice little additions they put to this thing, so yeah, it's great. If you guys are looking for something fun, something good, 100% recommend this. And if you're in the market for a plastic, 100%. The Gamma Crash is the way to go. Awesome, awesome yo yo. Okay, that's it for me. Any comments, questions, and criticisms, put them down below, and I will see you guys next time.